Minivans might win on efficiency, but when it comes to delivering a true driving experience, they can't touch the thrill of a full-size SUV. We're talking serious space for passengers and gear, monster engines under the hood, and off-road chops that put crossovers to shame. While efficient rides may dominate the streets in numbers, real gearheads know there's nothing like the feel of a big beefy SUV that can tackle whatever you throw at it. If you are looking after size, power, and versatility, you're in the right place. Big changes are out for the new season, so here's the ranking of the best full-size SUVs, listed from least to most impressive. Number 6. Toyota Sequoia. Bold design still turns heads, but not all the changes hit the mark. For starters, the limited third-row space is a letdown, especially for a full-size SUV that's supposed to prioritize passenger comfort. Another point of contention is the new hybrid powertrain. While the 3.4 twin-turbo V6 with hybrid system delivers 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque, the transition away from a traditional V8 hasn't won over everyone. Plus, early issues have already surfaced, with some models built in 2024 facing recalls. While the specs promise a punchy, powerful performance, concerns about reliability and passenger space take away some of the shine. Enthusiasts expected the Sequoia to step up in all areas, but it feels like Toyota missed the mark in a few key spots with this generation. Number 5. Jeep Wagoneer. On the flip side, the Wagoneer nails what a full-size SUV should be, especially when it comes to space. The third row is the most spacious in the segment, and if you opt for the long wheelbase version, there's even more room to stretch out. But it's not just about size. The new Hurricane engine is a real standout. This 3.0-liter turbocharged inline-6 delivers 420 ponies, providing strong acceleration and power. Even more impressive is its towing capacity. At 10,000 pounds, it's now the class leader, breaking the previous record held by the Ford Expedition. The biggest downside to the Wagoneer is a price. Starting at $65,000, it sits uncomfortably close to luxury SUV territory without officially being one. For many enthusiasts, that hefty price tag makes it harder to justify, especially when other full-size SUVs offer similar features at a lower cost and the price is the main deal-breaker for those seeking more value for their money. Number 4. Ford Expedition. The Expedition received a mild exterior refresh, but the changes drivers appreciate the most came under the hood. The familiar 3.5-liter turbocharged V6 is still there, but it can be now tuned to deliver 440 horsepower. However, a hybrid setup is still missing, and we'd love to see a version with a significant torque boost. One of the Expedition's standout features is its advanced independent rear suspension, which provides the smoothest ride in the segment, making it a top choice for comfort. That said, the base model's interior feels a bit cheap for an SUV of this size, and price, lacking the refinement you'd expect. And once you start adding features and upgrades, the total cost quickly climbs into Lincoln Navigator territory, making the Expedition a tough sell if you're looking to avoid premium pricing for a non-premium SUV. Number 3. Chevy Tahoe. The all-new SUV introduces serious upgrades. It's new from the outside, but what's more eye-catching is a huge 17.7-inch infotainment touchscreen, now standard across the lineup. And there is even an 11.0-inch digital instrument cluster, making the cabin feel more high-tech than ever. But what really sets the Tahoe apart is Chevy's decision to keep both V8 engines in the lineup, resisting the trend of downsizing to V6 like many rivals. The 6.2-liter V8 has been boosted to 433 horsepower and 467 pound-feet of torque. General Motors didn't just kept a diesel option, but engineers boosted it to burst out 497 pound-feet. For families needing more space, the Suburban is the long wheelbase version, with more room for passengers and cargo. This upgrade will cost you around $3,500. Number 2. GMC Yukon. Another flagship SUV from General Motors enters the new season with significant updates, enhancing its exterior, interior, and performance. Positioned as a more upscale model compared to the Tahoe, the GMC Yukon is looking to offer a balance between rugged utility and refined comfort. Its standout feature is the variety of trim levels available. The AT4X is the top choice for off-road enthusiasts, equipped with the most advanced features that enhance its capability on tough terrains. For those seeking premium build, the Yukon Denali Ultimate brings state-of-the-art technology and luxury features, although it comes with a price tag firmly in the premium realm. Don't be shocked by its higher starting price. Even the base version of the Yukon impresses with an array of features that many competitors offer as optional extras. Number 1. 
Nissan Armada. The 2025 Nissan Armada is all new, offering more than just cosmetic updates. The interior features a striking design, highlighted by two standard 12.3-inch screens that cover the entire dashboard. Higher trim levels come with even larger displays for an immersive tech experience. Already at the SL grade, you'll enjoy a premium Klipsch audio system. Under the hood, the Armada now packs a twin-turbo V6 that puts out 425 ponies and a massive 516 pound-feet of torque. It looks like a decent successor of V8, and a 9-speed automatic gearbox guarantees a smooth ride. While everything looks promising, the Armada still has to prove its long-term reliability. However, with Nissan's engineering reputation, we're optimistic that the new SUV will stand up to the test and meet the expectations of enthusiasts looking for power, luxury, and dependability in a full-size package.